For you to have clicked on this video, it probably means you got hacked or you have a friend that got hacked and you want to help him or her recover the account. Either way, by the end of today's video, I can assure you that you'll be recovering your account or you'll be on your way in recovering your account finally. So the first thing I want you all to understand is you're going to recover your account. No matter how long you get hacked, no matter how long it takes, probably months or weeks, you can actually recover the account. So you need to calm down. If you're watching this video right now and you got hacked, just calm down, okay? You're going to get your account back. That's the first thing to do. You need to calm down. Now, the second thing is, I said you're going to get your account, but then what determines how long you're going to get your account is based on your actions. You're going to get your account, but then it now depends on how long you're going to get your account, and that depends on the actions you take. And that's the purpose of this video all right so now let's say you get hacked the first thing you're going to notice is you'll be logged out of your account all right now when you notice you're logged out of your account the number one thing you want to avoid doing is deleting WhatsApp because the faster you act the faster it takes for you to recover the account but then when you uh, make things longer by deleting whatsapp you're giving a chance to the hacker to even do several other setups with your whatsapp account so the number one thing you want to avoid is deleting your whatsapp account but then even if you delete it and you download it back you can still recover the account but then it's gonna increase the time it's gonna take for you to recover the account because the hacker is already in and you're giving the hacker more time to do whatever he wants or she wants to do all right so the first thing is you want to ensure you're not deleting whatsapp okay now once you notice you're logged out they're going to see several options that says uh send verification through a uh, normal message you're going to see send verification code through or call and then you're going to see the main one which is going to be resend resend uh verification link okay or resend code something like that that one is actually going to be the first it's going to be highlighted in a green color and then we have the two other options at the bottom and finally we have i don't have any means or something like that now the number one thing you want to avoid doing is clicking on resend code let's say now you're hacked and now you want to enter your account back and now you've inserted your number whatsapp is going to tell you uh we've sent a link okay now when they say we sent the link the link they're sending is going to the hacker the link they're sending is going to the hacker the hacker that is inside your whatsapp is going to see that code and that's why most of the time you're going to you're not going to see the code on your mobile device now when you see those options you want to avoid clicking on resend code instead of clicking on resend code you want to ensure you're clicking on resend code via sms or resend code via a call please avoid this if you click on resend code uh, you know the normal resend code you're just going to be um, telling whatsapp to send the code directly to the hacker so this is something you want to avoid because the more you click on this the harder it becomes for you to get your account back all right but still in case you're watching this video and you've made this mistake still you can still get your account okay so keep watching all right now let's say um you probably got hacked and then you um avoided the option of resend code okay you selected either send code via sms or send code via a call trust me you're going to get your account back all right once you go for these options you're going to get the code sent directly to you and then you can actually log in now this is based on the easiest way to recover the account now what scenario let's say you've been clicking on resend code resend code you know whatsapp is sending it to the hacker and then it gets to a point where whatsapp is going to be like uh, you've requested so you know requested code quite um for so many times and now they are like you need to wait for like 30 minutes one hour seven hours 11 hours the reason why they're telling you to wait for this amount of hours is because you already made the mistake all right so now all you have to do now is to wait for those hours all right you don't have an option you just have to wait for those hours once you wait for those hours and it's time for you to try logging in back you want to ensure you're not making the mistake again you want to ensure you're selecting the options of either sms or a call okay and then i can guarantee you that by the time you select this uh one of these two options you'll be getting your account back that is scenario two now scenario three is if this hacker is smart enough to insert what we call two-step verification code because it's possible you're someone who is a victim of not inserting the two-step verification and as a result you got hacked all right now the hacker actually hacks you and then inserts a two-step verification for him or herself now what can you do in fact even after whatsapp tells you to wait for 11 hours and you you know get the link and insert it you're gonna see insert two-step verification and now in this case you didn't insert two-step verification all right 
the next thing you have to do here is to send a message to support at whatsapp.com all right you want to write to support at whatsapp.com subject account hacked now in the body you're going to say please help i got hacked or my whatsapp account got hacked and then you want to insert your email you want to insert your mobile number and then your name and then send it to support at whatsapp.com trust me you're going to get a reply in either some hours or in fact minutes yeah but you're going to get a reply if you don't get a reply you want to keep sending a message to support at whatsapp.com till you get a reply and now by the time you get this reply you get a response from someone from one of the support agency they have the ability to actually remove that two-step verification so far you can confirm that you're actually the owner of the account and now by the time they remove the two-step verification code they're going to tell you that you can now test you can now you know try to log in back and now this time you'll be logging in without inserting a two-step verification although sometimes it might take up to a week they might tell you to wait for like seven days before they remove it you know things like that but like i said at the start of this video they're going to get your account the only thing is how long it's going to take for you to get that account and it all depends on the actions you take in recovering that account and that's the purpose of this video all right so that's how you can actually recover your account those are the ways to recover your account either you avoid clicking on resend code because by the time you click on resend code it's going to the hacker you want to ensure you're clicking on send code via sms or through a call then you want to ensure you are not deleting whatsapp okay because if you delete whatsapp you're making it harder for yourself to recover your account then another method is you need to wait for those hours okay in case you made a mistake of recent code you want to wait for those hours that whatsapp has given you and then the next time you're going to be inserting your code you want to ensure you're going for recent code via sms or call don't make the mistake again of clicking recent code because if you make that mistake again it's reach a point where whatsapp will tell you that you've tried so many times contact support you know you're making things harder for yourself okay and now the final one is you want to ensure that you're sending a message to support at whatsapp.com in case you've actually you know taken so much time in recovering the account your hacker set two-step verification and things like that just send a message to support at whatsapp.com and i can assure you you're going to get a response and finally you're going to get your account back now let's move to the next stage how do you even get hacked because <laughs> it's something that you need to know imagine recovering your account and you get hacked again doesn't make sense okay this is something you want to ensure you understand properly okay so now the number one way you can get hacked is by making a mistake of leaving your phones around or trusting people you know you don't just want to trust anybody all right now there are people that can be around you with the motive of actually getting your details maybe you have money you have this and that and they might look like they actually love you and they finally try to log in with your number on their mobile device and because they are close to you they can see your mobile device they get the link and insert it and they're inside your whatsapp account that's number one thing you want to avoid you want to avoid um opening your phone you want to ensure you have your phone you know the security features on your phone are actually standards okay you want to ensure you put enough security features on your mobile device the second way you can get hacked is through what we call unknown links this is very very common right now there's some links that are being shared out there that once you click on it you are actually opening up yourself to hackers okay now the number three method is by giving out the code itself this is something a lot of people um you know are falling into you just have a random person calling you oh we you made money or something or oh, we know you or uh we're your friends you need to send us a code we're gonna they're gonna send you a code something like that and then you end up giving them maybe as a result of pressure um while you're talking maybe at work and you're confused or you're tired or something like that and you end up giving them that code this this is actually that's it like you're just giving them the access to your whatsapp account so these are things you want to ensure you're very very cautious about and then the final one is if you don't set a two-step verification if you don't set a two-step verification you're making things harder for yourself okay now how do you set a two-step verification you need to go to settings you need to go to security you're going to see turn on two-step verification once you click on that you're going to insert your code and then you're going to insert an email address in case you get hacked or in case someone tries to hack you it's going to be very very hard for the person to actually hack your whatsapp account and then uh guys that brings us to the end of today's video if you surely lent a whole lot into this video or you have questions make sure to drop them down in the comment section below but if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe for more highly informative videos like this subscribe drop a like on the video and also feel free to share with your friends and family members and i'll see you guys in my next highly highly informative video thanks for watching